Hello there boys and girls, welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for stopping by and we are back with the Babao Revival. The Beast from the East might be here but we are in Spain, yes we are. So today we've got a little bit of roundup as usual with regards to games, we've got a little bit of roundup with regards to some transfers, so people have actually left the club and, uh, and then we've got two games today, one against Madrid in the Cup and then the big one against Barcelona at the Camp Nou in the league. So... Let's do the transfers first, and then we'll round up with the fixtures as well. So, transfers that we have let go. So, uh, Mikel Susayeta came to me and said he wanted a new challenge because he felt he'd done everything at the club. So, I, I said yes, okay. And Stoke have come in for him for 9.75 million. Uh, Sabine Marino was a player I just wasn't using. He's, he was, he was a left-sided player. He's gone to Wolves for a couple of million quid. Um, and 3 million, 2.8 million. He just wasn't getting into the squad. So he has gone out of the door. Uh, Mikel Vesca has gone to Brighton for 2 million quid. Again, another player I wasn't using. And Enric uh, Sabaret, uh, left back, has also gone out the door for 1.5 million uh, to Reading. And uh, those are four players that we've let go for around about the 16 million pound mark, which isn't bad business. We have brought a uh, we have brought someone in. We'll go to the future transfers. So we've got uh, Atigui in. He will be coming in for around about a million quid. We've also brought this player in, Galaretta from Barcelona, uh, another central midfielder that I think we just need a little bit of depth in there, but as you can see from his stats, really good passing, good first touch, good technique, good positioning, teamwork, vision and work rate. So it's Raspe is out for a couple of months, um, so this 24-year-old going to come in for around about £800,000, which isn't too bad uh, as a backup player for us in the middle of the park, and he's been brought up through the Barcelona ranks, and uh, he will make a really good addition for us as well. So there are all the outs. We haven't got had any. We haven't had any more ins other than those two uh, central midfielders. Um, and yeah, what we're probably on the look, look hunt for a left back just as a replacement, um, a, a kind of a temporary thing. So I might see if I can get someone in on loan when our transfer window opens. Our transfer window opens tomorrow so yeah we uh, we will hopefully get someone in in between the two games if not i'll hunt high and low until we do get someone in as regards to the schedule we last met against madrid in the league and beat them 1-0 we followed that up with a really good 2-0 away win at atalanta in the europa league uh, segoin scoring both goals the youngster young left winger Coming in and doing a really good job for us there. We then beat Real Batiste 3 0. Adri scoring a hat trick. Lovely uh, to see him back on the score sheet. Three goals for him. A very tight game against Malaga 2 1. Uh, Munayin and Batista scoring the goals for us. Uh, Brown Idei scoring on the 54th minute for Malaga. That was a tight game. They were they're in the top 10 uh, at the minute. So. Took us really, really, uh, took us all the way to the uh, to the end of the game. But Batista scoring on the 62nd minute played really, really well when he came on. Adri's back in the goals again against Ketafe away from home at the uh, Coliseum. Alafans, Alafonso Perez and uh, again Adri scoring the goals. Raul Garcia not having the best of games, but hopefully he'll come back into some form. And then we finish that off with a really good 2-0 uh, home win against uh, Leganes. Uh, relatively straightforward to be fair. They are in the lower reaches of the league. So really good to see us winning the game, scoring some goals. Adri's coming back into the goals as well. So he's got a he's got what's that five goals in four games again. So him and Batista seem to go on these little purple patches and then drop out of form. So uh, hopefully we're in a little bit more form going into today. So where does that leave us in the league? That leaves us top of the table so far. But Madrid do have two games in hand and they're only four points behind. So they can uh, they can go back on top because they've been involved with the Club World Championships um, going into December. So they've got a couple of games in hand and I think they're against the lower lower teams, Girona and Levante. So but, uh, Madrid should, should do what Madrid do and uh, win both of those games to go back top. So I'm not expecting to be top towards the end of January. Um, and then we're going to play, we're going to play Barcelona in the league. They're now eighth in the league 29 points so really up and down uh, start to the season for Barcelona and hopefully we can uh, we can prey on that a little bit but they still have some fantastic players first game coming up today though is Madrid in the first leg of the Spanish Cup uh, in the fifth round we can get a good lead here take that back to Madrid and uh, and kind of comfortably go through to the quarterfinal stage because that's what the uh, that's what the, the board want us to do reach the quarterfinal so hopefully we can do that the Europa League's also been drawn first round knockout uh, uh, first round knockout stages have been drawn and we've got uh, Konya Sport from Turkey so again out of the draw it could have been uh, could have been a little bit harder for us as you can see here some of the teams that are now in this uh, now in this uh, competition coming down from the Champions League you've got Porto Liverpool Paris Saint-Germain 
Monaco, Red Bull Leipzig, uh, Zenit, AC Milan. Uh, they've even got Raul Sociedad as well, Colón, Lazio. Uh, so the draw could have been a lot harder for us. Uh, we picked a really good uh, first round knockout draw. So hopefully we can get through there because uh, the the, uh, the border is expe expecting us to reach the semi-finals, which could be a tough ask with some of those Champions League uh, clubs coming down into the competition but let's get underway let's get this first game started as i said madrid at home first leg and the fifth round of the uh, spanish cup this is going to be the lineup we've got um kepper in goal balazega martinez san jose and demarcos at the back benya and rico in the middle as i said because itaraspe is uh, going to be injured he's going to be out for a good couple of months munoyin on the left raul garcia in behind batista and williams on the right uh Adres does make the bench but other than that, um, it's a it's a pretty much solid first team for us. Let's get straight into this game and let's see if we can have a relatively comfortable first leg. Let's see how important Madrid are taking it. Uh, yeah, they're taking it quite <laughs> quite serious. Uh, Diego Costa comes in for probably one of his first starts in a Madrid shirt uh, for the second time because um, he joined in the summer but couldn't play because of their embargo. Correa's up front with him, so no Griezmann and no Gamero. Uh, Carrasco's on the left, Coke on the right, Saul in the middle. So it's a really, really strong, um, really, really strong Madrid side. Moyer in goal rather than Oblak. So they've changed it up a little bit, but it's still a, a relatively strong side for us. So um, expect to win, keep our run going. We're in good form at the minute. Um, I just want to make the quarterfinals. Hopefully, we can uh, get the board off our backs and uh, and hopefully do the job here. So let's go and kick off. <clears throat> hopefully, you're enjoying the series. If you are, please do leave it a like and subscribe if you're new. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to the second half of this season and going into um, two or three more years in this save because some of the youngsters we're coming through seem to be really, really good. It seems like they've got some really good potential. It'd be great to see them grow. First highlight of the game, four minutes in. Benya now playing that slightly deep role into Balazaga, tries to whip it in for Batista. Rico out to Williams, drives forward, takes a shot, and Williams scores. Great goal from Iñaki Williams, and that puts us 1-0 up after four minutes. Rico finding him out there, and Williams just driving past his man. 1-0 to Babao, so Benya to Balazaga, tries to whip the ball into uh, Batista, but Lucas is there. Rico just takes the ball down, lovely through ball to uh, Iñaki Williams. He takes a shot near post. Moya, absolutely no chance. 1-0 to Bilbao. Benya whipping the ball in from a free kick. Can he find San Jose? Yes, he can. That's a good save by Moya. I think he got knocked on to, uh, to San Jose and he uh, drilled it straight at Moya. Anywhere else, left or right of the keeper, and it would have uh, probably would have gone in for a goal. Sal now into uh, Angel Correa. Correa's got two or three men around him. Can he find an out ball? He, uh, he goes into Koke. Koke into Thomas Partey. Partey back to Koke. Lovely 1-2 football there. Partey's there. Partey scores, and it's one apiece. Good goal by uh, Atletico Madrid. Lovely 1-2 football from Koke and uh, Partey. And uh, it's one apiece. Here we go. Let's see this in 3D. Koke back to Thomas. And uh, he just gives and goes, really. No one then follows him on. Lovely little flick from Koke. Drives forward. Takes a shot. Kepa should have done better, really. But it's one apiece. Godin and Savage playing the ball forward. Benyak cutting that ball out, though. They tried to go long. Raul Garcia through to uh, John Bautista. What a shot. John Bautista from 18 yards. Immediate reply from the Bilbao boys. And uh, lovely strike from the youngster. He's been fantastic so far this season since we brought him in from uh, Raul Sociedad. Uh, Savage trying to play that ball long. I think probably trying to find uh, Diego Costa. Rico gets the ball into Raul Garcia. Lovely through ball to Bautista. And he just takes a hit from 20, 18, 20 yards out. Lovely hit from the youngster. 2-1 after 20 minutes. This game's come alive. Okay, whipping the ball in half an hour gone. That's a poor cross from someone of that caliber. Raul Garcia is just going to take his time, try and find one of our uh, one of his own men. Rico in the middle, into San Jose, into Benyat. Benyat back to Rico. This is good patient play from Bilbao. He's going to drive, drill that ball forward out to Munayin, but he's closed down by two men. Out to Raul Garcia. Lovely through ball to Belazega. Can he get the ball in? Yes, he can. Batista's there. Raul Garcia. Iñaki Williams nips in at near post. What a pass that was from Raul Garcia. Seeing Williams coming in on that right-hand side, and Williams literally could not miss. Half an hour gone. 3-1 to Bilbao. Great build-up play for all the way from our own half. Balazega gets the ball in. Good header from Savage, but what a pass. What vision from Raul Garcia there. 3-1 to Bilbao after, after 30 minutes. What a performance so far from Bilbao.
And that sees us till half time. Great start to the first leg for us. 3-1 against Madrid. Barcelona winning against Getafe 1-0. Madrid are winning against Espanyol 1-0 as well. So some of the big boys are playing really well. Valencia losing. That's unfortunate for them. Uh, let's get into this dressing room and just say, don't get complacent. Things can turn around. Uh, we need to just continue to do what we do. Yeah, I know some of them are not too bothered, but end of the day, well, Monoyin's one of them, and he's not even playing that well. So let's see if we can motivate him. Yes, we can. Fantastic. And then we'll motivate Batista as well. A lot more to come from him. But 3-1 in the first half. Really good form from us so far at the start of the season. And uh, coming into the second half now, hopefully we can continue in that, that same vein. Free kick from Carrasco. Going to whip that ball in. Trying to find Godin, but doesn't get there. Benyat now is going to race forward. And look at the amount of men running forward for Bilbao. Into Munayin. Munayin all the way over to Rico. Can he get the overlap for Demarcos? Yes, he can. Mark Demarcos whips it in. Benyat there hits the bar. And uh, they get it clear for a throw in. What a counter-attack move from Bilbao. Racing forward there from their free kick. And uh, they couldn't stop us. Raul Garcia having a great game against uh, Madrid. Williams going to whip that ball in. Trying to find Batista. But just played slightly behind him. But they get the ball up to Diego Costa. Costa getting in the way of uh, Correa. Lovely 1-2. But Diego Costa should have finished that. Open goal. Kepa, Kepa was absolutely in no man's land. And uh, should have put that away. It should be 3-2 really to be fair. Find this game all the way down to final whistle. There it is. The ref has blown. 3-1 to about all the work done in the first half. Uh, fantastic uh, play for us. Nyaki Williams winning the player of the match. 9.0. Two goals for him today. Fantastic performance from Inyaki. Uh, praise the boys. Lovely performance. Great to see. But now the big guns. Barcelona are coming up next. And that is going to be at the Camp Nou. Fantastic stadium. Loads of history there. And hopefully we can come away with another good performance. Oh, here we go then. Barcelona in the Camp Nou. First versus eighth. You'd have thought that would probably been the other way around at the start of the season. We've had a great start to the season. They have ever had a very underwhelming start to the season. Hopefully, we can pick up some points here. Um, literally, same team that played against Madrid will stay. It will start against Barcelona. I'm going for it. I'm not going to go so as gung-ho. We're going to start standard flexible in the uh, mentality and the team shape, but 4-2-3-1, they played well against Madrid, who are a, an amazing side in the cup, and hopefully we can come out with some points here. Let's see how Barca are going to line up against us. It's usually a 4-3-3, but it's actually a deep 4-2-3-1. Uh, they've got De Sagan in goal, Alaba, Umtiti, Pique, Semedo at the back, Busquets and Iniesta in front of them, and then the attacking quartet of Messi, Rakitic, Coutinho, and Luis Suarez. Yeah. On the bench, Dembele, Vidal, Roberto, Paco Alcacer, Denis Suarez, Digne and Silicon. Wow. How is that a team that are struggling in this league? I really want to know because they shouldn't be. Uh, they're so up and down so far this season. I really am not sure what's going on with them in uh, Barcelona, but just not stringing two, uh, two really good consecutive wins together at all. Let's kick off. In the great one of the greatest stadiums in the world, one I've actually been to myself in real life. Fantastic stadium is the Camp Nou. Huge, huge bowl of a stadium. But they get the first highlight. Five minutes gone. Iniesta into Busquets. Busquets through to Lionel Messi. Back to Busquets. Into Rakitic. Lovely uh, closing down there from our boys. Into Messi. Messi just wide. Wow. Lionel Messi pushes it just wide. Really good closing down from our midfield trio. Messi now going to whip that ball into Rakitic. Near post. And Rakitic scores from the corner. Eight minutes gone. Messi making the difference again. Uh, whipping the ball in into uh, Ivan Rakitic. And he just headers the ball home. Free header really to be fair. No one marking him. Kepa no chance. Barca 1. Bilbao 0. To Stegen getting the ball uh, started again. Goes to Antiti who goes then to Coutinho. Into Luis Suarez. Goes for a shot. Quite ambitious from the uh, from that, that far out. 25 minutes gone. We haven't got going here at the Camp Nou so far. We've, uh, we've been very, very sluggish in the opening half an hour. But hopefully this is going to be the first highlight to us. DeMarcos now into Benyat. Benyat going to find Munayin out on that left-hand side. He's going to take his man on into the middle. Oh, what a header that was by Adjuriz, but straight at to Stegen. Anywhere other than straight at him, it's a goal. Um, but our first highlight, our first chance of the game, and it was, I would say, a clear-cut chance, to be fair. Uh, Munayin doing a really good job, but that is going to see us through to half-time. Um, other than that one 
well, two two clear cut chances, one one goal for Barcelona and a, a clear cut chance for ourselves. Yeah, relatively low key game. I'm gonna get passionate and say, come on, boys! Everyone knows you can do much better than that in the second half. Go out there and produce the goods. All the players have got the ability, but they definitely, but we've definitely grown from that hammering that we took against Madrid earlier on in the year. And we, we seem to be learning from that. The mixture that we've got of young players and really good experienced players seem to be generally a hell of a lot better now than they were at the start of the season. But we probably need to mix it up. Adri's not having the best of games. Might even go to the 4-3-1-2 later on in the half. Uh, get Batista on and to, just to get a little bit more a little bit more help up for Adri's at the top. But coming into the first five minutes of the half, Benyat takes a shot, but Messi... Messi blocks. Balazaga now out to uh, Benya. Benya back to Balazaga. Good work from these two. Trying to get the ball into Raul Garcia. Into Williams. And Iñaki Williams is there. Another goal. That's three goals in two games for the young winger. And uh, five minutes gone in the second half. It's one apiece now. We've fought back. Really good. Um, really good start to the game from Barcelona. We've come back in the first half. And now we've started the second half on the front foot. Garcia knocks it down to Williams. To stay again. Absolutely no chance. One apiece. Come on, boys. Yes. Messi now. Five minutes after we score, back to Iniesta. And Iniesta is just going to take his time into Rakitic, into Luis Suarez. And he gets the ball out to Philippe Coutinho. Coutinho just launches the ball over the top. But Munayin gets the head of Messi. But Messi's going to get the ball back. But we, we close him down really, really quickly. Garcia to Rico. Two old heads in the middle of the, in the middle of the park for us. Raul Garcia again into Rico. Rico, can he find a ball? No, he goes back to his pal, Raul Garcia. Williams getting in there. Williams, oh, it's taking a deflection off PK. Really lucky goal, but Williams takes the shot. If you don't take, don't get by a ticket, you don't win the raffle. Williams took a shot and deflected off PK's head. And it's 2-1 to Bilbao. We've turned this game on its head inside the first 15 minutes of the second half. Williams takes a shot. It comes off PK. To Sagan had no chance. Garcia and uh, Garcia and Rico in the middle of midfield, really taking ownership and taking responsibility, taking the game by the scruff of the neck for Bilbao. And Benya going to take uh, another attack forward for Bilbao. Balazaga getting closed down by Messi. That's not what you want. Messi on your back. Benya back to uh, Martinez into San Jose. Good patient play here from the boys from Bilbao. Rico can he go through to Williams? He does. Goes out to. De Marcos, but Coutinho does a really good job there defensively, and now Luis Suarez in the in in the back of uh, in the back of Bilbao's defence, and Luis Suarez literally made that all his own. Great uh, interception by Coutinho, let Suarez off the leash, and Luis Suarez is absolutely deadly. He makes something out of absolutely nothing. De Marcos, not De Marcos. San Jose got underneath the ball. Luis Suarez then just drove forward. Martinez and Kepa, no chance. Two apiece now. So we've gone to the 4-3-1-2. But Williams in the shadow striker role. Uh, Batista on for Monayin. Benya and Raul Garcia have come off for Aga and Naviera. Um, have come on. Naviera, one of our youngsters coming through the uh, ranks at Bilbao. 20 minutes to go. 15 minutes to go. Hopefully that change hasn't um, scuppered us ever so slightly. We're going to go back up to control on this uh, on this one as well. 15 minutes to go. Nelson Semedo. Acres of space. He puts it in. 3-2. Lovely reverse pass from, uh, from Messi. And uh, Nelson Semedo puts it away. Kepa, no chance. Let's see this ball from Messi. It was an amazing reverse pass. Loads of space from Nelson Semedo down that wing. I was trying to constrict the middle to keep people like Coutinho and Messi quiet because they kept coming in into the middle of the park. But Nelson Semedo got loads of space down that left-hand side. Put it away. 3-2 to Barcelona now. To Sagan's going to get the ball clear. And that is the final whistle. Barcelona 3, Bilbao 2. Second defeat of the season. And we played really well, to be fair. Um, I can't, I can't blame the boys. Really played well. Coutinho, eight point seven player of the match from him. Uh, we kept, we kept people like Messi and Rakitic relatively quiet for throughout the, uh, throughout the game, and uh, not a bad, not a bad loss, to be fair. Let's just say that's unlucky, boys. Win was there, but it just wasn't to be. We came up against the better side, and uh, let's see how that makes the table look so far. Table looks like this. We're still topped by two points from Valencia. But as I said, Barcelona have now got... Th uh, Barcelona. Real Madrid have now got three games in hand. And uh, they could really strengthen their uh, their grip on the uh, on the first place there. Barcelona move up to six with that win against us. But we're comfortably in the Champions League spots going into the second half of the season. 
So we are going to be back for the second Basque derby against Raul Sociedad and then our first knockout round leg one against Konya Sport in the Europa League. That will be the next episode. That's it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you don't want to miss out on any more content going forward. Uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago, there was an AC Milan FIFA 18 career mode uh, episode gone up as well. So check your sub boxes for that. And until next time when we bring you Raul Sociedad and Konya Spore, I'll see you soon.